Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another huge arcade game video for you this evening. This thing is so big, I have to get really far away from it to get it all in the picture, and yet it is still just barely there. This is Global VR's Madden Football arcade game. I bet you may have not known that they even made one of these because it bombed. You got to think about where they were coming from back in the day. This came out in 2005, I believe. Might have been 2004, but it uh, NFL Blitz had already done great back in the day for Midway, and then everybody saw uh, Golden Tee just burning it up, making a ton of money. And then they did uh, Global VR did their PGA Tour, trying to kind of rip off. Uh, Golden Tee because they had the PGA license, right? I mean, they had already worked the PGA license with EA Sports for the home version games. And then they also had the NFL license with the Madden home games, EA Sports. So Global VR worked a deal with EA Sports to bring foot, uh, the NFL and the PGA to the arcades. And this is what was made of it. So they made a Madden football arcade game that is huge huge i mean this thing have you ever seen the the pictures online of the people that make the uh the like the main machines with the big huge plywood control panels that are almost a full sheet of plywood here's one they re actually released like that look how huge that control panel is and it had a high res or i, I should say vga it's not really high res but a vga monitor really cool cabinet design I would imagine they spent a ton of money developing this you know they probably had visions in their head man if we can just get people hooked on Madden like they're hooked on golden tea we'll get rich so if you don't know about their PGA tour golf game they, they golden tea was making a fortune it was the number one game in the arcades you know for three or four years there and so everybody wanted to do that. So they actually, like I said, had the PGA license. So they made a PGA Tour arcade game. We've got videos of it here on our on our uh, channel uh, that you could actually kit into a Golden Tee cabinet. So instead of buying the new Golden Tee update, you could put you could make it a PGA Tour, and it had like several characters you could play. Uh, actual actual golfers. It had actual golf courses. Uh, it had many more courses than the Golden Tee games had. But it didn't really do that good. It, it was around for, I think they did four, they did four or five versions of it, and then it was done. Well, they also slid in this Madden football game, and uh, I'm sure, like I was saying, that they thought they were going to make a fortune off of it. Well, at the time, I worked for an operator um, who bought a couple of them, put them out on location, and they didn't earn any money. And if you don't know anything about the way the like these newer games are marketed, um, at least back then, 10, 15 years ago. If you don't know about how they were marketed, what they did was they would put them on test location. And they, they always had the ability to find a test location where the game made all kinds of money. So they would put the game on test location, and then it would, it would make, I don't know, $400 a week, every week, for two months. And then they'd put in all the publications and magazines and stuff that were out at the time uh, that the operators were, were reading and buying, like Replay and things like that. They would put in there, oh, look, look at our... Look at our uh, test results the things making four hundred dollars a week if you buy these you'll make four hundred dollars a week on it so it gets everybody excited and but they do this for every game every game that comes out they find some place to put it in a test location where it makes all kinds of money i don't know if they're just faking it or or what but it's always like that so this thing came out and it didn't really make all that much money unless you had it in a really huge location and just a lot of people didn't play it it's it's very similar to the home version so you had that like why would you play this whenever you could play it on your xbox at the time right um but it was a cool idea and they kind of had to try it you know they, they had to try to to make a fortune on it so they did um and so I, I worked for an operator who had a couple of these and he didn't make any money on them well um locally global vr decided to have with the local distributor decided to have a presentation whenever the second one came out. So whenever the second Madden game came out, uh, they had this, this uh, like a, I don't even know what you would call it, but like a sales presentation. And I went with my boss at a sales presentation, right? And so it was at a restaurant and there were probably 30 people there. 
and they're trying to convince all these operators to buy the second game right so this guy from global vr spent the whole time apologizing to the, to the operators about how bad the first game was which is this one and i'm not it's not a bad game but i'm, I'm a bad earning game i'll tell you here in a second um, apologizing about how the game didn't earn and they know why it didn't earn and they had fixed it for the second game so global vr decided that the reason that the game didn't earn at first was because it wasn't good for casual players the game is really deep you can i mean you can do it's basically very similar to the home version so there's all kinds of stuff you can do with the game so it's it's super complicated is kind of what it comes down to it's a little harder for a casual player to play whereas blitz was a little easier uh you kind of just you know you could mash buttons and do all right in it well in this one you can't really do that um so whenever they up updated it to madden football 2 season i think they called it season 2 um they tried to change a lot of things uh, to make it a little bit easier game. So they were going over all this in the sales presentation, and they had the Madden Season 2 kits there. You could take this cabinet and put the Season 2 stuff in it. You'd change the sign, update the computer, um, and it would play Season 2. And then one of the other things that they gave you was this overlay. Whenever we bought this particular Madden, it was missing a couple parts. So the overlay had cracks in it, the original plastic overlay. So what we did was we were able to find a Madden football uh two overlay that was meant to go over the original one so we fixed the the overlay that was under it uh but then the art was messed up and so we put this new overlay on it so the the difference between this overlay and the one that's under it that this is stuck on um is that the original one had all kinds of stuff all over this says how to play and it shows you like all these different moves and it's super complicated and down here it shows you and it's got some more stuff written over here you know and so one of the one of the things they did was they just simplified it and so this is that's actually a madden 2 overlay but the game is actually still the original madden um we'll play it a little bit here in a second you can see what you think i'm not very good at it at all but you can check it out if you've never seen it the, it had these the cool 49-way joysticks that midway used for a while i guess hap made them um but whenever you go into the test menu it only shows the four directions like to test it but i believe it's set up uh like it is like it was an nfl blitz where if you just barely move it you walk but if you move it all the way you run because it has 49 basically 49 different zones that the joystick can be in at any second um and then the buttons are fanned out so this one says sprint or ask madden so you can ask madden which play he thinks you should play um snap and dive juke and swat stiff arm or change player so you can see how they tried to just make it as simple as possible with that replacement artwork meant for the season two stuff i wonder if it says it doesn't say season two anywhere on it so i believe i have that right you can fact check me if i'm wrong uh, let me show you inside of it too we've got the back door off as you can see it is just a pc there's a lot of custom little pieces of hardware uh, that came installed in the cabinet to make it do its thing. So you've got, you know, its own little uh, in-out boards and things like that. So you can't just hack the uh, software and play it on your computer without all that stuff but a really cool cabinet it's got this sign up on the top that says tournament play because you could play it online and all of that like you could play golden tea online and like you could play pga tour online oh and just in case uh, i didn't make it clear the golden tea stuff was not made by the same company golden tea was made by incredible technologies and they made a fortune on it so a company like global vr says "Ooh, we want some of that so they made the pga tour version which should have been much better because it was it had the pga license it had actual golfers more more uh, uh more uh courses uh but it didn't do as well as golden tea and then they made this madden game which had the great madden name right and it had the nfl license so it should have done awesome too but it unfortunately didn't make that much money fun game but maybe a little ahead of its time or maybe a little behind its time it came out in 2004 or 2005 which by then the arcade uh, scene was kind of done um, i'll set up the tripod we'll play through it a little bit and you can see what you think all 
All right, folks, we're going to play through it a little bit. I'm horrible at it, but I'll let you'll at least see what they did. He said, catch me if you can. Oh, man. Oh, what's he doing? What's he going to do? What is he doing? No, oh, they didn't let him loose after that. All right, we'll try it out. So you can do training camp, get some practice in one of our training camps. You can do an exhibition play against your friends or cooperatively against the computer. There was also a career mode, but I think it had to be online for that. Tournaments and competition had to be online for that, and it's no longer online. So we'll play a little exhibition game. All right. Sorry, it started on the Patriots. I hope that didn't trigger anybody. I'm going to play the Panthers because I'm awful close to Charlotte. 93%. I didn't see that. <laughs> the Patriots are 99. Look what they're doing to us. The Panthers are 93 overall. Okay, the Eagles are good. Holy moly, we're like the third or fourth best team in the game. We'll play Green Bay. You can change the difficulty. Normal. All pro or all Madden, the ultimate challenge. Adds features for advanced players like hot routes, man of motion. Yeah, we're gonna play the simplified mode of play designed for casual players. Want to know which play to call? Press yellow to ask Madden. What do you think about that? Much anticipated game. Ready to begin. Ready to begin. All right. So let's do... Uh... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, hold down yellow to sprint, double tap to spin. Oh, I sprinted. I sprinted right to him. Steve Smith. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the cool things is it's all the teams from 2005. <laughs> I hit the blue button. What the hell? <laughs> Madden's actually making the calls. Okay. Man! What the hell? Use the blue button on defense to strip the ball. They're already telling me how to do defense. Because they know I'm about to lose the ball. <laughs> I dived when I wanted to swat. All right. Let's try to keep the ball. Fake, fake punt pass. It's a fake. Anywhere on the field, people. All right, Madden's telling me I should kick a field goal. John Casey, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. The more touchdown drives, the better. Now they'll go back to the sidelines and see why they were able to beat the defense to six. And they'll try and repeat those results 
the next time they get the ball. From the one. Now it's their turn to do something on offense. They're down by a touchdown early. But these guys have the kind of offense that can score any time they have the ball. One of the great running backs in the league, John, up against one of the league's top defensive units. What do you think? Well, I will say one thing I think we've learned from the last couple of seasons. Oh. Is that a great defense beats a great offense. This one could still go either way. They line up in the I formation. Far sets up, drops back. Kicks off. He's inside the top. <laughs> The defender is really pumped up out there. Yep, I'm pretty great. They can do this sort of thing. Everyone gets on the same page and they'll put up points in bunches. And bunches. We're going to put up points in bunches, people. <laughs> so cool, man. It's so cool. It's pretty damn fun, really. It should have made more money. Go, people. Green Bay needs to get to work as we start the second quarter. From the 46. That didn't go like I wanted it to. Let's see what Madden says. Positive yards on a return is better than nothing. Oh man, I about lost it. That's the thing. That was a perfect opportunity to make a big play for his defense. He lets it go as an incomplete. Roll out strong, people. What the hell? The quarterback once again for his second sack. It's his combination of strength and speed that's allowed him to get that sack. Okay. You got that first down. Look out. We're in a hole here on third down. And he comes through with his perfect play. He gets him a first and keeps the drive going. <laughs> oh, come on. Pressure. And that brings up second down. Madden saying go with the flats, people. <laughs> I got sacked again. Damn. Damn it. They're treating me like they treat Cam. <laughs> Come on, man. I tell you, he put that one right on the money. They just got to play a little kick. They'll head right back to the line. Oh, that got it. What you want to do with trying to get a late scoring drive is turn the ball over. We're already behind as it is, and they can't afford to be down anymore. So it's all about smart decisions. Mm, that's nice. At least they're not scoring. Defense needs to just play smart and 
not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, but they just need to prevent it from getting in the field already. Right. Ah. This one falls incomplete. Damn. I don't think they can do much more than just throw one long. I'm sure the defense will throw one long, people. Don't get beat deep. Now, oh, too many guys. All right, folks, there you go. It's just a little example. I have a feeling it's a lot like the home version in 2005. But. There you go. That's what the Madden arcade game was like that came out in 2005. You don't see this one around too often because they didn't really sell a ton of them. And the thing is so huge, they probably destroyed a bunch of them whenever they stopped making that money. But not this one. Whenever we got it, they had started taking it apart. The glass was missing. This little trim piece was missing. Um, like I said, the control panel was cracked up. So we, we got it back looking and doing its thing, though. Saved another one. Now, by the time you see this Madden, it may have punted off to somebody else's game room. We may not even have it available for sale anymore. But that's all right. You can see all the games that we do have for sale on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com to check it out. If you're local, you can stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, we've got a whole building full of arcade games here for sale at all times. Now... If you can't come by and you don't want to buy, well, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. And every time uh, we get something interesting in like this, we'll film a little video of it and show you what it's like. Usually I'm a little better at playing them, but I suck at Madden and Blitz and most of those. So, uh, But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, even though I can't play, for taking the time to uh, show you this video if you're still watching this far. And leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about it. We'll see you next time.